Assalamualaikum assalamu alaikum friends today we'll discuss about artificial chromosome now let's go to uh, explain the definition of uh, artificial chromosome so artificial chromosome is basically consist of uh, dna molecule they are basically dna molecule which are genetically uh, engineered now uh, composed in vitro in vitro mean inside the lab uh, it's have a uh, defined constituent mean it's have different type of uh, parts uh, guarantee a uh, stable maintenance of large uh, fragment they have guarantee when we insert a foreign uh, dna molecule inside this type of uh, uh, chromosome so they have the guarantee to maintain the uh, fragment of a uh, foreign dna now with the uh, properties of natural chromosome they uh, uh, like uh, property of natural chromosome now uh, what uh, we can use uh, artificial chromosome where are we used uh, artificial chromosome so artificial chromosome are used in <coughs> uh, genome sequencing we can uh, sequence any type of genome using uh, artificial uh, chromosome so the second function is uh, functional characterization of entire genomic region we can uh, find out the function of any type of uh, gene using uh, artificial chromosome now the third one uh, function of uh, artificial chromosome is uh, large uh, fragment transduction to human and non-human a cell we can also transfer uh, any type of a desired gene or apparent dna to human and non-human cell using artificial chromosome now let's go to explain uh, types of uh, artificial chromosome so the first type of artificial chromosome is back back stand for bacterial artificial chromosome second one is yak yak stand for yeast artificial chromosome hack hack stand for uh, human artificial chromosome and uh, PEC, PEC stand for um, page, uh, page artificial uh, chromosome. Now let's go to uh, explain the bacterial artificial chromosome and uh, structural wise. So bacterial artificial chromosome. Bacterial uh, artificial chromosome is basically uh, bacteria have F uh, plasmid so uh, we can uh, elaborate the structure of the a plasmid so basically uh, a plasmid uh, mean fertility plasmid are basically artificial chromosome and the bacterial uh, artificial chromosome uh, topic so this is the structure of bacterial artificial chromosome <clears throat> we explain in the definition that uh, a bacterial artificial chromosome have defined constituent so uh, here uh, be, um, they uh, consist of different type of uh, parts the first one is ref E. So this is the sequence of uh, region of uh, rep E. So what is the function of rep E? So rep we regulate this uh, region regulate the uh, copy number number of F plasmid and uh, its replication so this part help in uh, the copy number of uh, plasmid the regulation of copy number of f plasmid and its uh, replication that how the replication of this uh, 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 f plasmid are takes place so the rep e portion of this uh, artificial bacterial artificial chromosome control the 
copy number and uh, of f plasmid mean fertility plasmid and uh, its replication the second part is par a and par b so this is the region of par a and par b so they control the they help in the uh, transformation of a plasmid uh, during cell uh, division so this uh, uh, portion help in the transformation of plas uh, a plasmid uh, to daughter cell during a cell division uh, process now the third uh, portion is selectable marker selectable marker have uh, we use selectable marker for uh, screening process so a um, plasmid have a region uh, called selectable marker which is used for the screening process when we insert our desired uh, sequence in a plasmid so we uh, then we check that our uh, desired sequence are inserted or not so this region are help in the screening process they have different type of um, uh, antibiotic resistance gene like ampicillin and tetracycline or lexate uh, gene uh, sequence are present in this uh, portion so they can uh, help in the uh, screening process now the last portion is here the T7 and SP6 this uh, portion are helped in the transcription of paran DNA molecule so when we insert our uh, our uh, desired DNA fragment or uh, any type of uh, uh, fragment for uh, the process of uh, sequencing or for the transformation so the T7 and SP6 portion this region control its uh, transcription process that uh, how from which region the uh, transcription process are will be started so the t7 and sp6 region are basically promoter region for the uh, par and dna molecule so this is the uh, constituent parts of the uh, artificial uh, chromosome uh, bacterial uh, chromosome now what is um, the application of uh, artificial uh, chromosome so using artificial chromosome or bacterial chromosome we can study we can study different type of diseases uh, 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 different type of genetic diseases so uh, uh, we can study genetic diseases so those diseases which are transfer genetically from parents to uh, offspring so we can uh, study uh, genetic diseases using the um, bacterial artificial chromosome the second uh, application of uh, this uh, bacterial chromosome is uh, to study neuro degenerative diseases we can also study different type of new uh, neurodegenerative diseases like alzheimer diseases parkinson diseases and uh, other type of diseases which are related to our nervous system so we can also uh, study degener uh, neurodegenerative uh, diseases so uh, um, we uh, can also uh, study the genome of infectious viruses like uh, pox viruses corona virus using bacterial artificial chromosome we uh, put the uh, the the genome of these virus in this uh, bacterial artificial chromosome and then we uh, study 
the toxic and the infectious effect of uh, these uh, type of uh, viruses so this is the all about artificial chromosome and uh, its type bacterial chromosome now inshallah in next video we discuss about yak artificial chromosome like yeast artificial chromosome so thank you for watching see you in next video